Welcome to Eden Secret. Today I'm making a soap I've never made before. Yeah, I'm going to be using Snow Fairy. I just thought Snow Fairy would work really, really well in this um, soap. The Snow Fairy fragrance I'm using is from the Soap Kitchen. Used to be soap suppliers, but the Soap Kitchen bought out um, soap supplier bought out the Soap Kitchen. So um, if you're ever looking for Soap supply your fragrances in my description boxes. It's actually the soap kitchen now. Hopefully, you'll just be re redirected to the soap kitchen website. So, that's what I'm going to be using. It has a very, very slight discoloration, but because I'm using green and red, I don't think it'll have any discoloration whatsoever. So, um, let's get this blended, shall we? So you see how much faster my soap blends up with the KitchenAid blender. Um, I love that it's got a really long stem. So if you're using more soap than you usually use, it's great because um, this is that long. Even if my, my pan was absolutely full, the blender wouldn't be submerged into the batter. Um, okay, so we need colour don't we so this part of the soap I'm just going to split off a little bit first actually before I do that I'm going to put the fragrance in and if I remember rightly it doesn't accelerate too badly this one And then we've got exactly the same quantity of fragrance in all of the colours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split off some of that soap. doesn't need to be too much because I really just want a bit of a drizzle and what I'm going to be using for that drizzle is I'm going to use the fluorescent green from Mineral Makeup Ingredients oh there's already a spoon in there using green pigment so it's literally just a half a straight half um, split of blue 142090 and CI11680 so it's half blue and half yellow so I'm hoping I get a nice strong green from that you can see by the lid what it's going to be like and it just depends how watered down your pigment is as to how much you put in. I 
think it needs more. Four teaspoonful going in now. Okay, so I'm just going to pour that darker green in now. And I'm hoping I'll have just the right amount of green to fill these up to the top of the mould. I'm just going to do a bit of a, an easy swirl. Actually, I'm... I don't want too much to come out at once, so I'm just being really delicate with my paw. So I've just mixed up some Oasis Green, just giving that a stir now and then we're going to pour that into the mould. Hopefully the rest of the soap hasn't set up too much. Oh, uh oh. You can see it has set up somewhat. So I'm just going to take my clips off. Get my spoon and just squash it down a bit. I don't want to flood it over like I did before. And there. It's just right. Exactly where I want it. Okay, so let's cut it, shall we? Just got a nice plain green with a little bit of a swirl but I've got something to show you. So I got my Grinch stamp which arrived this month, well just now. It's far too big for the slice of soap so we're not going to be able to do Grinch. I'm really sorry about that. We're going to have to do something else. Luckily, I have got some stamps. Not stamps, I've got um, cookie cutters. Cookie cutters, and I think they'll do for what I want to do with this. I 
So every slice is going to be very, very similar. <clears throat> we definitely got the avocado green down well. It's just not ideal with what I really, really wanted to do. So I've got some different shapes. I've got a gingerbread man. Whoops. Gingerbread man. I've got a Christmas tree. I've got a bauble. But I'm going to go with the snowman. Just because I've already got gingerbread men, I'm going to have trees with my cupcake. So I'm literally just dipping the gold in there. Now I did want to push this centre down and make an indentation. But it didn't work very well. So that's what it looked like. It just broke up the, the design a little bit. So I'm just going to do it like that. I think it looks fine like that. Actually, I didn't dip the whole thing. Let's just try this, see how it works with the mica on. It might actually work better. Actually, it works really well. It's worked really well. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm stamping them now because once I've piped on the top, I won't be able to lay the saw flat on the worktop. So if I stamp them now and then decorate the top afterwards, I'm actually quite pleased with that. It's made a big difference with the mica. See if I can get this in exactly the same position that it was in before. Give it a, a decent press. Yeah, it's really good actually. Really good. I'm more happy with that now. Let's see what we can do with this one. Might be best to top off that excess before I put it in there. <sighs> it's great, really good. So I'm going to continue doing this with all 50 bars of soap. Would have been much better with the Grinch because of the colour. But it's fine like that. I don't know why I didn't check the size of the the Grinch cutter but I didn't but I'll get one for next year and we'll do it next year cute perfect of course they're the sample sizes so let's do Do one of the full sized ones.
I'm now thinking I should do all all different shapes on these. Do one with the snow flat flay. Do one with the snowman. Do one with the gingerbread man. Do one with the Christmas tree. Do one with the bauble. I think that might be a good idea. And then you'll never know who, if you buy them. You don't know which shape you're going to get. So let's do that, shall we? So we'll do the gingerbread man next. And that one hasn't worked as well. Hmm. Maybe I need to push it down a bit more. Let's try. Gingerbread man. Christmas tree works well. It's got a bit of red on. I'll just clean that. They're all good, aren't they? I like them all. Okay, it's time to make some soap dough jewels. I'm obviously doing red, as you can tell by my fingers. And I've just got some little balls of red soap dough here. And I'm just squashing them in to this bauble mould. I'm taking my um, scalpel just to scrape it off flat. Nice and neat around the outside. Then just bend the silicone mould and you can turn it out like that. I don't want this bit so I'm just chopping that off and just rolling it round to neaten up the edges. I'm just popping that on a, a cardboard tray that I've made. So that's the one for the smaller slices. I'm making bigger jewels for the larger slices. So just a bigger ball of soap dough squashed in this bauble shape here. Link to the silicone mould in the description box. This is a Katie Sue Designs uh, silicone mould. Excellent quality. Absolutely excellent. And then just do the same again. Turn it out. Cut off that piece and again just twist it round very very gently, not much pressure at all. All you're doing, you don't want to squash it out of shape. And then we're just popping that onto a cut out piece of cardboard. Now we're actually going to paint them as well. I'm going to put some nice gold mica on there. So let's do that now. Okay, so it's time to paint onto these. I've got some mica here. Um, it's fairly concentrated. It's mica mixed with rubbing alcohol. So you need to give it a good stir each time and then drain off, drain off your brush. 
and then you want a very pointy brush for this one just very delicately and gently without pressing on at all paint on top of the design like so Didn't drain that well enough. If you do go over the edges, this is where your scalpel comes in handy again. You can literally just scrape very gently scrape off the overflow Okay, so it could be a little bit harder to do the smaller ones because the detail is a bit finer on there. So I just want to give a shout out to my top countries that are viewing at the moment. It does change often, uh, but number one at the moment is the USA. Number two is the UK. Number three is Australia. Number four is Canada. And number five is New Zealand. So hello to all of you that are viewing from those countries. Thanks so much for watching. I think I might do this every now and again. Just give a shout out to and let everybody know um, which country's number one. I mean, always the US is number one. Oh, uh, I like to disagree. Well, it's number one as far as like viewing my videos ah well maybe yeah which is far it's far bigger isn't it yeah than yeah that's true so there we are that's the smaller one they're going to go on the thin slices on the sample sizes okay so i have my gorgeous jewels here all done so I'm just going to pop those to one side and I'm, I'm going to use a turntable for this part because I want to pipe um, I want to I did want to do a nice ripple all the way around the soap but I've, I've tried different nozzles that I've got and none of them are really doing what I want them to do so instead I'm using a large tip um, leaf mold, leaf, a large leaf tip nozzle, and so I'm just gonna pipe four leaves onto the soap like so. I'm 
And before I add my jewel, I'm going to put some red eco glitter on there. Actually, I'm thinking it's going to make a mess of the. It's going to make a mess of this. So I'm just going to pop that on there like that. Because I don't want the glitter on my jewel. So then I'm going to pop the jewel in the centre like so. And just squish it down a little bit. And there we are. How pretty is that? It would have looked best. It still looks great, but I really wanted like ripples around the top of the soap, like ripples on a flower. But I just couldn't do it. I could have piped a rose, but it it still wouldn't have looked the way I want. I had envisaged envisaged it. So that is what this slice of soap is going to look like i mean it does look christmasy let's face it so let's continue i've taken my gloves off so if you're going to take your gloves off to pipe just be very careful not to get soap on your hands you know, I'm not a teacher. What I'm actually doing is I'm showing you how I make soap and products. Um, if you're going to learn how to do anything, which is the same with cooking or anything at all, you should always look up the safety before you do anything. I'm giving you all this advice for free. I'm not charging anybody for it. But I do just want you to be careful. I'm so happy with that. I think it looks fabulous. Wow, I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, I'll do one more and then I'm just going to continue. Probably leave the video camera running and um, put some music on and speed it up a little bit. The glitter I'm using is biodegradable. But biodegradable glitter is very expensive, so you can't use a lot of it. Oh, that, I just think that's absolute magic.
mean, they are just so cute. I'm in love with these soaps. I hope you enjoyed this video. Things were not quite going to plan because this was meant to be the Grinch soap. But I think it turned out even better than I anticipated. So I hope you liked watching this. I'll see you all very soon for another video from Eden Secret. Bye bye for now. Happy Christmas and happy holidays.